We have one more series of innovators under 35 before we break. This talk will be, uh, track will be opened by Laura Shewell, the co-founder and CEO of Streetlight Data, whom you saw earlier doing her contributions to the city's discussion. Laura, please. So transportation is dangerous. It contributes 30% of global carbon emissions today, and experts believe that by 2050, transportation will be 80% of global carbon emissions. That's because transportation is getting worse while everything else is getting better. Car crashes kill 1.3 million people each year, and we know nothing about what's happening on the roads. Where are these people going, and how are they getting there, and why are they on the road in the first place? And that's the problem that inspired me to create the technology that became Streetlight Data. So Streetlight Data, what we do is we analyze how people use cities, and we make it easy and intuitive for anybody to explore that information. So the maps you see are showing you the home distributions and work distributions of people who visit a particular place, in this case, a mall. We can also analyze what happens when a new bus route opens, when there's a new hospital, how do the flows around it in the city change? How far do people in this neighborhood tend to drive to get to the grocery store? And how does that compare with the richer neighborhood one mile down the road? The way the technology works is by taking archival, anonymized, and aggregated data from cellular towers and GPS navigation satellites. We take that data and we process it with lots and lots of other types of more conventional data. It's a new approach to geotemporal normalization and contextualization. And what it means is that we can take a lot of data, turn it into a very simple map, map to answer a useful question. And we can do it at very low computational cost and in a way that never tracks or follows the behavior of a single individual. Our goal with Streetlight is to make it easy and affordable and intuitive to incorporate transportation into all kinds of decisions throughout the economy. So the most direct way to do that is to work with transportation engineers and city planners and to help them make better models, better measurements of what's going on in the city so they can be more accurate in their plans. That works in the developed world. In the developing world, we can leverage the fact that these countries have incredible cellular infrastructure but terrible trans transportation management practices. They can leapfrog the United States leveraging that infrastructure. And it's important that they do so, because they are rushing towards mass automobility at a terrifying speed. But the real challenge for us, for the green transportation industry, I believe, is to make it natural to reduce vehicle miles traveled without harping upon individuals to change their behavior. Because Americans really love cars, and increasingly the rest of the world does too. I mean, just look at those Porsches outside. And we don't like being nagged and told what to do and told to change our behavior. And so much at this conference this week has been telling us about new technologies that will make life more convenient. If the transportation sector says no, transportation has to be less convenient. It's just really not gonna work. So what Streetlight does, and what I believe has to happen, is to make the goal of reducing vehicle miles traveled in sync, in parallel with the goals of businesses and governments. So you don't have to know that you're part of a driving reduction scheme. All you know is that your gym relocated to be right next door to your favorite gluten-free grocery store. I'm Laura Schul, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Streetlight Data. Thank you.